Hello everyone, welcome back to the good stuff as we continue our 12 coin reveal. We um, just did the first four coins, which um, those results and that video is posted. Um, now we're going to continue on um, counting down to number one, uh, and starting at coin number eight. Now there was a story with this coin. Uh, this coin's a low mintage. It's an 1899 Philadelphia. You're going to notice it's not holdered. Okay. And uh, the reason it's not holdered is because, and if you recall from my, if you go back and look or recall from my initial video, this coin I, I said had a kind of a haze on it. You can kind of see it here. When I was at the PCGS table, one of the girls called over two, two people who grade coins, and they, because I had questions on this, and they couldn't answer, um, the girls that were helping me called over a guy to kind of take a look at this, and he told me not to submit it, because one of two things, it was either improperly cleaned, or it needs to be, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, when they, when they try to clean the coin up a little bit and preserve it, they needed a preservation kind of treatment. I forget what the PCGS calls it though. Anyway, so this coin was a no grade, uh, based upon what they told me. I did have a friend with me that all of y'all know, um, that was there to witness it, so this coin's a no grade. Um, it is an 1899 Philly. I think there was only like 300,000 or so made. I'm going to send it to get conserved. I'm just going to kind of pick my, pick my time on that. Not in any hurry. Uh, so, got that out of the way. <laughs> uh, going on now to coin number seven. And coin number seven was the 34 piece dollar. And uh, I've got a. Oop, I didn't write seven on there, did I? Okay, this is coin number seven. Um, this is the 37 piece dollar. I'm trying to get the light on there a little bit better for y'all. There we go, that's better. This uh, is a 34. D. And you know one thing I've noticed is if you're gonna if you're gonna look at coins to submit, don't look at quarters, halves, and don't do them all at one time. Kind of set your set your eyes on a Morgan. Set your eyes on the Morgans. Whatever you're submitting, set your eyes on that. Get through that and then take a break. And then the next set of coins that you're going to be doing, say Benji's, kind of get your eyes set on Benji's and kind of what those coins look like when they were first minted. Because each coin's different. And uh, you can kind of end up talking yourself into, into things where you wouldn't ordinarily what you wouldn't ordinarily do if uh, you were judging them all together. So that's a little best practice I picked up. Don't try to get too much accomplished at one time. So this is the 34D, and this one judged out at an MS62. A lot of you got this right. I think there were a couple AU guesses. But I um, want to congratulate those who got this right because this was a this is a difficult coin. You know, as you look at it, you know you you think you see evidence of like these fine lines here and things like that. Um, it kind of throw you off. So even in here, you'll see. I think a couple people said the coin was clean. I could see why. 
but PCGS looked at it and they judged it. It was a uh, 62. Coin number seven was a 62. So now we're going to move to coin number six, which was the, the challenge coin. This one had extra points associated with it. This was the 21 piece dollar. And you'll notice this another thing that I learned during this process is the 21 is much different than than the others because it's high relief. And those 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 high relief coins, because of the pressure they were stamped at, that, that thing chewed through dies. So a lot of the coins got got pressed with dies that were pretty worn. Like here's the 21. And I want you to pay attention to like over the ear, the hair over the ear. See how you can't see the locks and the waves and the hair? Kind of looks like flattening, you know, cause that's due to wear. And use of the coin, where like if you look here in the P style, see how the detail on the 34D, see the detail on the hair uh, over the ear, and how much, Let's see if I can get these both in the same frame. Now one's flat and the other one isn't. So the 21s are kind of unique. And you have to kind of be skilled and have studied them and know what they look like and know what the challenges and opportunities were when they were making these coins. So with that, um, I think a lot of people guessed AU 55, 53, Um, but the grade actually, a little bit, this was a clean coin. And uh, I'm going to do a follow-up study on this coin to see, you know, like I've, I've already been looking at it and kind of got some ideas on where the coins cleaned and why they judged it the way they did. Gonna do a maybe send it to some other folks and have them take a look at it. Um, but the big thing is, is they they did call it uncirculated. So a lot of people had this at AU, and it wasn't AU. It was Ankh. So like I was looking at this coin already. I'm gonna show you up in here. If I can get this right. up in there is a little suspect just below the eye and you can see like on the luster of the coin right there at that I'm going to use this pointer right in this area right here I think is why they call the coin clean and you if you roll it, you can kind of see where the surface integrity appears to have been um, tampered with. I don't know, though. So uh, even 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 with this gray, this coin was a win for me. Um, I, I, I got a really good deal on it. And uh, obviously, I was hoping that it was gonna come back unk and gradable but uh, these professionals here decided otherwise still beautiful coin and uh, these 21s are hard to come by so uh, that one is a no grade so we're gonna throw that one out and I, I know it sounds like a little bit of a broken record at this point but just gives you an idea of, you know rock coins and the challenges that are there um, and how you have to be right on so many levels in order to come up with a win. So uh, with that, we're going to go to coin five, which was an 1882 CC.
such a beautiful example. So let's see what they called it. Uh, MS-62. So now this is 62. Okay. So with that, this is coin number four, which is uh, the another 1882. And this particular one was the one with this toning on the back. And Taking a real good look at this toning here with y'all. Just given uh, everything else that's transpired here. So let's take a look. 82 CC. Looks like straight graded at, at 63. So no questionable color that toning on the on the reverse. Um, I guess they judged as being, you know, something that happens naturally. Then I have to study this one versus some of the others. There's a lot of similarities with this and those artificial tone coins. I'm going to have to um, take a deep dive into this and maybe share some of the conclusions I come up with. Anyway, a good result. Right there. 63. This is coin three, which was the 1881 CC. And uh, this is a more difficult date on the Morgan Carson cities. Kind of has that yellow, orangey, gold hue to it. That's that's kind of common. Certainly doesn't look artificial. There's a good look at it on the back. CC. Let's see. The straight grade MS63. That is a big win. Big win. Very good. So now we're going to come to coin number two, which um, is an 1880 CC. And uh, it's got some of that, the gold, like on the last coin.
So these 80s, um, they have 79 and 78 reverses. I believe this one's of a 78 because of the flat breast. It's not rounded. 79. Some of you other guys may know more about it, but... Let's see what they said. Straight grade. MS62. Very good. Okay. So now we are on to the last coin. Which is the 1878cc. And let's go ahead and show you all this. You'll see the the mark on the cheek looks like it was caused by another coin's edge. Kind of looks like that. Die cracks there. Comes all the way around. A really good blast white example. Let's see what they said. So they call this one clean on details. So I kind of been looking at this one on my own, people, and um, trying to. All these CC coins I got from a private collector, um, and uh, for the most, for the most part, they've. They've worked out tremendously. All the Morgans I've got from him um, have really worked out, even the peace dollars. This one, this one, a little, I'm a little stumped by, you know, in looking at it, um, obviously I don't, I don't possess the same skills as, say, a professional, but I think the reason they rendered this coin the way they did is... Why don't you focus, like, right here, that cheek. And at certain angles, sometimes it's hard to catch with the camera. Certain angles, there it is, kind of see, like, a different surface there. Or a disrupted surface. And that could have been just another coin rubbing over the top of it. Um, right there. Just in front of the ear. So it goes from here, right here, this high cheek in front of the ear. I think that's why they they did the coin the way they did. Uh, I'm gonna have to really study this one. This one is, this one is uh, probably, I was a little disappointed in this one. There were others, not really. Uh, but this one I, I was. Because it is just. I don't know. i got to send this to some experts and I'll have them take a look at it and see if it's worth regrading or get their opinion. Sometimes this stuff's a little beyond me. But in studying it, I think, I think right here is the issue. This cheek. It's really hard to get with the camera. I don't know though. 
You can kind of see it there a little bit. So, here's what it is. This one, uh, this is an unk, unk detail. But I'm going to work with this one, study it a little bit longer, get some experts' advice, and see what they say. Anyway, um, those are it. The next video is going to kind of, I'm going to do the calculations now on who won first, second, and third. And uh, let you know what you want. I want to thank everybody for their participation. And, uh, you know, I hope it was an informative exercise. Uh, you see there was a lot of, you know, disappointment in some of the grades. Um, it's going to happen if you mess with if you mess with raw coins. That's why I'm kind of, if you listen to some pe the people who have been collecting Morgans forever, they'll tell you don't buy raw coins, buy them graded. You just avoid all the issues and things like that. But um, for me, it's fun. I like the thrill of it. Some people like to go to Vegas. Some people like to gamble on sports games. Yeah, kind of time a coin gambler. <laughs> Just like the rest of y'all. Anyway, thanks for everything. The next video will uh, announce the winners. Um, first, second, and third. And uh, if you had fun, let me know. We can do stuff like this in the future, but I'm definitely on some of these some of these problematic coins. Definitely going to do some videos on them and kind of call out the pitfalls and what to look for this way. If you do dare, you give yourself the best shot at success. So anyway, thank you. It's Texas Joe. Appreciate y'all. Bye bye.